Welcome back to Living Local. If parents are looking for a place their children can have fun while learning, Imagination Station is one local resource. Kids have a chance to see their favorite PBS characters come to life while enjoying hands-on activities with reading, science, technology, and so much more. Here to tell us more about that in studio today is Cassie Henshaw, event coordinator with WQPT PBS. Cassie, thank you so much Hi. for coming in. Thank you for having me. Let's talk about Imagination Station first of all for those uh, folks who might not be familiar with it. How long has it been around? Or first, what, what is it? Exactly. So it's an event hosted by WQPT PBS on the Western Illinois University Quad Cities campus. Mm -hmm. um, we bring PBS characters to life so that kids and families can come and interact with them and do educational activities um, around campus. So uh, how, how long exactly? Well, so this? Imagination Station has been around the Quad Cities for a while, okay, okay. but it's been reimagined since 2015 when WQPT moved to the Quad Cities campus. Okay, uh, so who is all going to be there from the, from the PBS shows <laughs> the that everyone question, knows right? and loves? Yeah. Uh, so we are going to have all of the favorites, right? So we'll have Daniel Tiger, um, we'll have Cat in the Hat. We will have Clifford, Curious George. Okay, there we go. I was, asking, um, I was waiting for Clifford. Yeah, <laughs> Clifford. And then, <laughs> of course, our very own Mr. Scott. Oh, okay. So one thing that we always try to remind families of is um, plan your day accordingly to which characters are the favorites, right? Because there are two sessions during the day, a okay. morning two-hour session from 9 to 11, and then an afternoon two-hour session from noon to 2. And so it's pretty unlikely that each child will be able to see every single character. Right. Um, so um, we kind of ask our families to map it out, which ones do you want to for sure see, and sort of go plan their day accordingly. Can't ask all the favorites to hang around all at once for the entire time. Right. <laughs> right. All right, so uh, besides the characters, we're going to have um, games, activities, and, and yeah. so on, correct, too? Right. Tell us about some of those. So some of the things that kids will do, um, each character's station, mm -hmm. right, has an activity that's educational and geared towards that character's TV show on PBS. So for example, Cat in the Hat, the activities that they'll do there, are going to be very engineering based. Um, one other thing that we did that's new this year was sort of gear every station to a major that's offered at Western as well. Oh, okay. So yeah, so it kind of ties it all together. Um, there are going to be some demonstrations. That's so what I was going to ask about next. Yeah, yeah, what are some of those? Our Wapsie folks are bringing some live animals, so they're going to be doing a presentation on some local wild animals. Um, kids will actually be able to see those animals live and up close. Um, Do you and have any idea what kind of animals they're bringing? So yet? last year they had an owl. Okay. And I think there was a snake. Okay. Well, there you go. That's <laughs> but like enough variety. But other than that, I'm not sure what he's planning yet this year. He he uh, he likes to surprise us a little bit. Um, and then some other things that they'll be able to do is go on like a live bug hunt with Mr. Scott. And then the folks from the Moline Public Library will be there to read some books. Absolutely. Lots of fun. Um, so Imagination Station, you're trying to make learning fun, right? Yeah. Well, why is that so important? Well, what we've seen is when you pair fun and excitement with education, um, children really get a passion for learning and they sort of start to see learning as this fun thing that can take the shape of a lot of different things, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going on an, explore, uh, an exploring adventure. Um, what I don't know is I'm learning about nature and bugs and habitats and ecosystems, yeah. right? So it's all about uh, pairing education with passion and fun, and uh, our kids certainly do that at Imagination Station. Gotta disguise Station. it just a little bit we too. We are disguising, <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, remind us again, um, this is happening on the Moline campus of WIU, right? Correct. Here in the Quad Cities. Yeah. Um, when exactly again? So Saturday, March 14th. Okay. Um, doors will open away. at 9. Yes, a couple weeks away, and then doors will open again at noon. Um, another thing that's important to know is our tickets will go on sale on March 2nd. And although the event is free, every person that walks into the event has to have a ticket. Whether you are a baby or you are a mom. Everybody. Or everyone needs okay. a ticket. Um, they go on sale March 2nd at 8.30 in the morning and you go online. So you can visit our Facebook page or our website and you'll be able to go and purchase your ticket. And you mentioned two separate sessions, two right? Two separate sessions, okay. right. So make sure you're paying attention to the session that you're purchasing or purchasing your right, ticket right, for, right. that's the one that you'll be entered. So you can go, in. can you go online or, or somewhere to see when each um, session, what is going on each Absolutely, one, I'm assuming? Absolutely, yes. Okay. Um, very soon on our website, there will be a schedule. You'll be able to see the map. You'll be able to see where our characters are on okay. campus, what time they're going to come out um, and hang out with you. 
um, and then that way it kind of helps you plan the day. All right, perfect. All the information you're going to need yeah. before you actually show up. That's Cassie, right. thank you so much for coming in <laughs> and you. telling us about Imagination Station with WQPT. If you would like more information about all those things we just talked about before the event comes up, just visit wqpt.org forward slash imagination station. We'll also have those details posted on our website. That's ourquadcities.com.